fantastic travelling support though that you can hear over in the background getting behind their side set off as early as 10 o'clock this morning age ranges from 18 to about 90. The shot comes in on goal from Dover it's blocked corner to be taken by John Rooney Dior Angus just stood right in front of the keeper it's swung in towards Angus drops down at the near post it's cleared away headed back into the box barrel battling away inside the penalty area Scott quickly will go for it a little push comes in though and it is going to be a free kick still have the corner here barrel looking to try and keep it at nil nil as it's swung into the box shot comes in from Dover it's wrong footed everyone it's turned into the back of the net and Dover have taken the lead I think it's Jay Reason who's taking the plaudits I'm not too sure if he's got the final touch on it or not or whether he's just played a massive part on it but Dover have got that goal and we have played only a few minutes in this first half and the breakthrough comes for the home side it's Dover 1 Barrow nil. Brings it up well, Frank Barry gets back into possession, outside the box, into Scott Quigley's feet, Scott Quigley running towards the edge of the area, carries it goalwards, gets a shot away, very good goalkeeper though by Ashley Maynard Brewer, made himself big, got down well, Tom White just looking for that bit of space, cross it goes to John Rooney, brings the ball under control, the barrel skipper, Rooney, through the middle, into the box it goes for Quigley, shot comes in on goal, brilliant save there by the Dover keeper, Maynard Brewer behind it goes, Barrow corner. As Bobby Joe Taylor whips it into the area towards the back post, header comes in on goal, the flag's up, it won't count, in the Effion was running away in celebration. Yeah, a bit of a relief to see the referee not running over to the linesman there after Saturday, but the Barrow defence kept a good line, good header, good uh, from any Effion to put it in the back of the net, but clearly offside. One minute of added on time to be played at the end of this first half, and we're into it now. John Rooney sliding, good ball out to this left. Josh Kay sprinting to keep it in play right by the corner flag. Josh Kay steps inside, just looking for movement. Right across it goes to Lewis Hartcastle. Hartcastle curls a shot on goal, can't get it on target. Drops just wide of Brewer's far post. Now the play it goes, goal kicked it over. Brad Barry gets there to head the ball away. Rooney. Inside to Hardcastle, Hardcastle looks to release Dior Angus and Angus has got the legs to get away from Kevin Loco. Into the area, rolls it across, Scott Quigley attacks it, couldn't get it on target, it took a great sliding challenge from Dover, in fact to bounce the ball back off Scott Quigley, Barrow looking for a corner there, it's out of play for a goal kick. Scott Quigley again right on the edge of the area for Barrow and it looks as though he's going to be the target, starts making a move towards Brad Barry, it's thrown into the box, comes to Dior Angus, gets his shot away, Brewer studs, stands right behind it though and does well to gather it up in the near post, just on the halfway line here on this right hand side which Brad Barry is the man to take the throw, throws it down into the feet of Scott Quigley, Quigley gets a little push from Kevin Loco but all it does is it just pushes Scott Quigley more into an advanced position in the Dover half. Picked up by Lewis Hardcastle. Hardcastle with a low drive. Saved by the keeper. And it just bounces back into the feet of Scott Quigley. And he didn't know much about it in the end as it rolls off him. And a play for a goal kick. A huge moment there for Barrow. Barry holding it up inside to Rooney. Back to Brad Barry again. Back outside to John Rooney on this right hand side. Barry will start to make the run. Rooney will chip it into the area. Scott Quigley does well. Gets it under control. Takes a shot into the side netting. This time from Scott Quigley. Came up perfectly for him. And Barrow looking to build from the back as Dixon sends a long kick forward looking for Byron Harrison. Header away by Loco. John Rooney will just put the ball back up into the night sky. Lands down at the feet of Byron Harrison. Harrison dragged down inside the penalty area, is it? Referee points to the spot, it is a penalty to Barrow. John Rooney for Barrow, 19 goals for the season to his name already. Steps up here against the Australian under 20 goalkeeper. Chips it down the middle, into the back of the net, runs to retrieve the ball straight away. Barrow wants to get straight back into this, but with nine minutes to go now, here at the Crabble Ground, it's Dover 1, Barrow 1. Sometimes you just need that little bit of luck, don't you? And you have to say, an absolutely brilliant effort from John Rooney. I can't remember, is it a Penenka they call it these days? And he's just cool as you like, stepped up, lofted it over the keeper. And now we just have to keep pushing on all his strikers on the pitch and try and get another one. Leaves the ball away, back into the barrel half. Modest trying to get onto it. Matt Platt just hooks the ball from out of the air. 
One's down at the feet of Michael Woods though and he carries the ball forward here for Dover. Sends it into the box, Paul Leon flicks it on to Effie Young. Effie Young in the area, brilliant goalkeeping from Joel Dixon and it's actually gone for a goal kick as well. Back to Jason Taylor by the corner flag. Hindle, now Tom White, turns back into his own penalty area and now will carry it to the edge of the box and almost giving possession away there. Eventually it's John Rooney who gives it away and now it's... Ogie runs it into the penalty box, pulls the ball right across. Cure play is going for it eventually. It's Michael Woods who goes for it, who flicks the ball beyond the reach of Joel Dixon. Barrow switching off at a vital moment in the game. And with three minutes to go, Dover have got themselves a goal back in front in this one. It's Dover 2, Barrow 1. Yeah, it's definitely a disappointing goal from our point of view. We're giving the ball away needlessly. Straight away launches it forward, looking for Matt Platt, who's been thrown up front. Flex it down, scored quickly in the box, pulls it across. Byron Harrison can't get to it. Hendel fires it and it bounces off Byron Harrison, who has stood on the goal line. And Dover are able to get the ball away. Back forward by Dyson, cleared away again. Comes to Matt Platt on the edge of the box. Platt chips it in. By Jack Hindle dives in at the back post, tries to get onto it. Just bounces away from him, out of play. And it goes for a goal kick to Dover. Ball played out to Michael Woods. Michael Woods, the man who's got the three points here for Dover. He runs off. But unfortunately for Barrow, it is disappointment. For the first time since the 26th of October when they lost away at Torquay, the Bluebirds have suffered defeat on the road this evening. It is finished here at the Crabble Ground. Dover 2, Barrow 1.